Hi, my name is Lisa Dillivan, L-I-S-A-D-I-L-L-I-V-A-N. Today is Friday, November 19th at 9.30 a.m. I'm interviewing Mr. Ed Decker. Mr. Decker, can you please spell your name for us? Uh, D-E-C-K-E-R. Okay. The first question is, how did you get your job at RCA? Well, uh, I was previously working for General Electric, which I worked for 12 years, and they had a layoff. And uh, then I uh, picked up a few manager jobs, and uh, RCA was advertising, and I went over and uh, was interviewed by Aldo Branda, and uh, I was hired. I was hired as a, uh, a technician, uh, and then one week late, two weeks later, they uh, upgraded me to engineer. Uh, so uh, I was uh, a little higher than they had expected. Okay. Can you describe what you did at RCA? Uh, yes, I was a. I started out as a quality technician. I I was a quality engineer, right? And uh, I inspected systems prior to the government inspecting them. And uh, when I passed them, then they went on to uh, the ships out in the field. Okay. And what kind of systems were? Um well, there were all kinds. There was the antennas. There was the. Uh, it all had to do with radar, and uh, mostly all of it was uh, confidential stuff. Uh, you know, company private and confidential. Okay, what kind of wages and benefits did you earn at RCA? I started out, and uh, I don't remember what the wages were when I started out, but when I ended. Uh, uh, in 2004 and retired, I was uh, over $1,000 a week. Okay. What were your relationships with your coworkers like? Uh, well, I had excellent relationships. Matter of fact, uh, I ran a lot of programs there uh, during my 38 years. Uh, I ran the uh, IQ program, which was involvement in quality. I ran the uh, STAR program. Uh, and uh, mo more people knew me than I knew them because of the uh, employee recognition programs that I ran. Were there a variety of ethnic groups when you worked at RCA? Uh, pardon? Were there a variety of ethnic groups when you worked at RCA? I know of. Uh, it was just the normal, normal groups. Okay. What were your working conditions like? Uh, excellent. RCA uh, had excellent working conditions. Uh, we moved quite a bit from area to area because uh, uh, I was upgraded to this and upgraded to that. And uh, the, wherever I moved to, right, and then they built on additional buildings, right, uh, they always had excellent uh, working conditions. What was one of your most memorable experiences working at RCA? Well, it was uh, running the uh, employee recognition programs, I think. Uh, even though I um, was, was technically involved in uh, engineering software when I left there, right, uh, which was previous to government inspections and mostly all confidential work uh, before they went to the ships. Uh, I ran these employee recognition programs, and I got to meet a lot of people, uh, a lot of the employees, and I enjoyed uh, uh, rewarding the employees for their efforts and their work uh, that they performed. Can you tell us a little bit more about the employee recognition programs? Uh, yeah, we had the first we started out with the IQ program, which started out in 1983, and I ran that program for uh, three years and uh, it was called Involvement in Quality IQ and we awarded uh, all the different groups within RCA competed for recognition week. Then uh, during that program we had a gold, a silver, and a bronze award that we called the IQ Olympics and it was a monthly thing, I'm sorry, it was a quarterly thing and the work centers competed for it. Uh, they were evaluated, and the winner would be a gold winner, the, uh, then silver, and then bronze. Gold winners would
would be awarded a lunch, a luncheon, and they all always received like sweatshirts or some kind of a large item. Um, sometimes it was a monetary award and uh, for the recognition. Uh, at that program that we had, the luncheon, right, uh, we had the managers and the um, important people involved from the Navy uh, come and congratulate them on uh, winning the award. And then we had the STAR program, which started in 87. I was with that program, I guess, for a few years, and then it faded out. And uh, that program was called the STAR program. It was Superior Team Achievement Recognition Program. That's what STAR stood for. And that was also a recognition program, which took over a little after the IQ Olympic program faded out. So I enjoyed that. Can you describe an average work day? Well, at first we had uh, set hours, 7.30 to 4.30. And uh, then as the years went by, uh, we made our own time, our, mo our own hours of work. And then I used to go in like 6 o'clock in the morning right, and work until like 2.30, 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Uh, reason being there, I would get the work ready for the customer or government inspections prior to shipment to the ships. What kind of changes were made over the years you were at RCA? Well, most of the changes were from the uh, purchasing of uh, RCA. When we first, uh, when I first started, it was RCA, and then GE bought RCA out and moved in, and then Martin Marietta bought out the company, uh, or I should say GE sold it to Martin Marietta, and then Martin Marietta sold it off to Lockheed Martin, which is still Lockheed Martin today. So that was the changes. Uh, like when RCA was there, we had an employee store uh, where employees purchased RCA items. And of course, when uh, GE took over, the employee store was uh, then disbanded. Uh, and uh, then there was uh, Martin Marietta came in and uh, they made some changes. And every time uh, another company came in and bought, RCA out, right? Uh, naturally, the changes would be not so good as it used to be, but still good to work, a good workplace, an excellent workplace, I should say. Can you tell me a little bit more about the employee stores? Wait, what? Can you tell me a little bit more about the employee stores? Oh, the employee store, well, they used to, uh, uh, on discounts, right? Uh, we used to get discounts for TVs and uh, items that RCA made, you know, like washers, dryers, and radios and whatever. Uh, the, it was an employee store, and we, we had pretty good discounts and purchased items in the store, um, which was right on the premises. Right. Did you ever use the store? Oh, yes, yes. Yes, I bought many items in there, TVs and things. Uh, most employees did because it was a, a good saving. What kind of changes were made over, or I'm sorry, how much did RCA inf influence the growth of Camden? Growth of Camden? Well, I was in Moorestown. Uh, and, uh, I didn't know too much about the Camden uh, facility. How long did you work at RCA? I uh, worked at RCA for, well, when I left there, I had 38 years with the company. Of course, 12 of it was with GE, which I received back, and the rest of it was RCA. And of course, I worked with RCA until it was sold off to GE, and then uh, through Martin Marietta, right? And then Lockheed Martin. 
Why did you leave RCA? I retired. I was ready for retirement. And they had a uh, special uh, offer, you know, uh, for uh, retirement. And so I took the offer to give younger people a chance to get to the field and make room for the younger generation. <laughs> Can you describe how you felt when RCA closed? RCA closed? It didn't close. It was still open. Uh, G came in and took over. And uh, uh, there wasn't too much of a change like uh, at first. And then uh, little by little they made their changes, which really didn't affect the work too much, the workload. What did you enjoy about working at RCA? I enjoyed running the sport programs. I uh, was in sports a lot. I started a uh, racquetball league, and uh, I ran the racquetball league for 17 years there. I was president of the racquetball league. I started that in 1978, I believe it was, and uh, I ran through to, into the 80s. When I first started out, it was like uh, maybe 200 people involved in, this, in the program. And of course, I also participated in bowling. I was in the bowling league, the bowling captain of my team. And I was in the, uh, uh, let's see, oh yeah, the uh, golf league. And I was a team captain for golf. So I participated in a lot of sports. And I enjoyed uh, doing that, you know, with the uh, fellow workers. Before I turn off the recorder, are there any stories or experiences you'd like to share with us? Uh, no, I would like to let you know that I have a, a quite a, a good amount of RCA family magazines which were published. And it has a lot of good information in it about the company and what was happening at the time. Uh, I have from like 1976 through 1987, and you're welcome to it if uh, you can get someone to stop by and pick them up. Uh, I think you'd uh, welcome the magazines. Um, it has a lot of history of the company, you know, just reading the magazines. Okay, great. If you're interested, you know, have someone stop by and pick them up. All right, great. Well, thank you very much. Okay. Uh, thank you for your interview.